Okay, what you need for this experiment is obviously an egg. You need a container which you can put some water in, like this one. It doesn't need to be glass, it doesn't need to be able to be seen through, but for the point of the experiment so you can see what's happening, I've got a, a vase that belongs to my wife. Uh, I'm sure she doesn't mind. Um, you'll need a spoon and you'll need some cooking salt. Okay? Now, I've raided the kitchen and I've come up with a container full of cooking salt. I'm saying cooking salt because um, it's probably cheaper and uh, you can get a bigger quantity of it. Alright, let's make a start. Fairly simple, take your egg and place it in the water. Don't drop it in, it could crack and then you'll need a new egg. Okay, place the egg in the water. Note, it sinks. Okay, it's on the bottom of the water. Okay, now take some cooking salt. You might need a spoon or mine's lumpy because it's probably a little bit moist. Uh, and put that cooking salt in the water. Now I'm just breaking it up. The reason I'm breaking it up is to allow more what we call in science and in maths surface area. Okay, a big lump of salt would have a smaller surface area than lots of little bits of salt. So I'm breaking it up so that it will be able to dissolve a lot easier. Okay, another way of making salt dissolve easier is using warm water. Well, I haven't got warm water at the moment, so I'm just going to stick with, with what I've got. Now, you might notice that not all the salt's dissolving. Okay, Some of it's stuck to the side of the glass, and some of it's just pooling in the bottom. That's where your spoon comes in. Give it a stir, and that's where hot water would help, or warm water. Warm water would dissolve the salt a lot easier. Okay, what I've just done is, because it was taking a while to dissolve the salt, I actually got a pot of hot water, all right, about half full, and this is called a water bath. And I sat the vase in the hot water, so it warmed it up a little bit, which kept the um, the salt to dissolving. I also took the egg out, as you can see I've got the egg out of the vase and I've got a spoon in there and I stirred it up which also helps with um, the salt dissolving. Now if you have a look it's not perfectly clear the water but it's a lot clearer than it was when I first put the salt in. Okay, um, But it's still water, it's just got some salt in it. Now I'm going to try put the egg back in and see what happens. Yep. The egg sunk and then floated. It sunk because that was I was putting it down and it was already going down. And then it's got to adjust to the density that is around itself. Okay? So what it's done is because the water is now more dense, it's got more stuff in it in the same area, in the same volume of water. It's got salt in it as well that's dissolved and it's becoming like thicker or heavier. And the egg is, as a result, less heavy than the water. Okay, so that means that the egg can now float. Now I notice that the egg's right at the top. I'm wondering whether I might be able to put enough fresh water into the vase to get the egg to hover in the middle and that would mean that I had the same density in the water as the egg. Now this is going to be a bit of an experiment of a little bit at a time so it could take some time but I'm going to keep trying. Alright so I've just got a cup and I'm going to use just some cold water. Yep. Okay. And I'm going to put a little bit in at a time. Notice that before, it took the egg a few seconds to 
work out where it wanted to sit. Now put a little bit of water in and you've noticed you can, I can just see, I'm not sure whether you can, I'll zoom in in a sec, that the egg's not sitting right on the top, it's sort of suspended halfway. It didn't take a lot of water to do that. I thought it would have took, taken a lot more. See that? The egg's not floating, but it's not sinking. How cool is that? 